week we looked at leaf shapes and how you can identify plants by the leaf shape. Remember you've got things like this sort of palmate, like the palm of your hand, etc. However, this week we're going to look at leaf margins. And for some leaves, the margin of the leaf, like on this, this ivy, you can see is very, very smooth. That's called entire. Uh, whereas others, for example, on this fatsia, so you can see that the base of the leaf starts off smooth, entire, but then it goes quite serrated, and the serrations are quite long. Whereas if we look at the hellebore, for example, on this hellebore, the serrations are a lot closer together. So that's called serrated. And then I've got one here, which is uh, primula, and the primula is slightly more triangular in its serration, so we call that dentate. Uh, if there are really lots of them close together, we call that denticulate. Just think of your teeth, denticulate. And for serrations, think of a serrated knife. And you can see here on the buddleia, they're really finely serrate, so that's called serulate. So in this session we'll have a look at the leaf margins and as in the previous weeks there is a challenge be below so you click the button below and there'll be a Quizlet challenge where you can test yourself, see how you get on and then uh, next week we'll look at another aspect of plant identification. So think of crinate as clouds just going round and round the outside, cloud shaped. And that's a good way of remembering that particular term. And then we have uh, another one which is just like the serrations on the side of a knife if you look at the way the margin of that leaf is. So we call that serrated, like a serrated knife. And then the next one we're going to look at is what we call dentate. So think a dentist, or in this case you can see the canine teeth on that dog to the left, so dentist dentate looks uh, like a dog's tooth on it. Now if the side of the leaf is smooth then we call that entire. So it's smooth or entire. So that's a term that we often use. If it, the clouds are really fine and very close together that's called crenulate. So really fine sort of little curvy bits around the outside. And if it's very finely serrated, we call that serulate. And if it was like the toothed one, then that's called denticulate. Another one that we would use is what's called sinuous, a slightly wavy margin around the outside. If it goes up and down, they sometimes call that undulate. But if it's wavy around the edges, it's sinuous. Another one that we see is where the serrations vary, small serration, big serration. And that's called a double serrated leaf, double serrated margin, if you like. So the double serrate uh, we sometimes see that in Betula pendula. If you look on the right hand side of that leaf in the middle, it's got a small than a slightly larger serration. And that's quite useful when you're identifying birches because Betula pendula has, is double serrate. Whereas if you look at Betula pubescent, the downy birch, then the leaf shape is different in that it's slightly more diamond and the margin. It's pretty much dentate all the way around, fairly evenly. So the cherry tree, Prunus, this has a serrated margin. So that's fairly common on a lot of rosaceous plants like the Prunus or a Malus on, and that kind of thing. Onto the Oleria macrodonta, the daisy bush, that has dentate type leaf. Look, they're quite toothed. Uh, so Macrodonta large teeth is the botanical name for that one. On the Grisolinia, you can see that the leaf is very smooth. So that's what we call entire. So it's smooth all the way around. 
Prussia persica, the Persian ironwood, as you can see if you look closely, that's got a crenate margin, the cloudy shaped one. So onto the Dutzia, you can see here it's got a very finely serrated leaf, so we'd call that serrulate leaf, it's a little bit finer than the larger serrated one. Onto the Philadelphus, and you can see that the bottom of the leaf is entire, it's quite smooth, but then it goes into a kind of serrated for the top two thirds of the leaf. And then we have lobed on the oak, that's the actual shape, not the leaf margin, with the, so that was Quercus rober, and then we have Quercus rubra, the red oak, which has got a parted leaf. And finally, we have the Morris nigra, and the Morris nigra, this is quite a tricky one because it's sort of serrated, but you could almost say it's dentate because of the way the, the, the shapes of the leaf. So you could argue it either way. So that just about wraps up uh, leaf shapes for this week. Well, I hope that's improved your plant identification skills using the leaf margin to help you identify different plants. Next week we'll do something different. So if you liked it, please click the like. And uh, if you've not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and there'll be some more videos coming on plant identification. See you next time.